in this video i want to talk about water pump but i'll focus attention on weepo of water pump almost all heavy duty water pump has what we call whip o and vapor o the one i'm touching now is the vapor o the one that face up is the vapor o why the o that face down is the whip o you can see the whip o now the whip o and the vapor o are very tiny o beside water pump why i want to discuss on it is because I observe that some technicians or some mechanic block this O when coolant starts dripping down from here. This very O, when you observe that coolant is dripping down there, this is the whip O. You can see the whip O. This is this very one is the whip O. The first one was the vapor O. But I want to focus my attention on the whip O. When coolant is dripping down from your whip O, should you block it? The answer is no don't block it don't block the whip o the essence of the whip whip o is passing a signal to you about the condition of your water pump it's telling you that your your water pump will soon damage so it's a sign it's a symptom of your water pump the condition of it so when you notice that water is dripping from your whip oh don't block it if you block it what will happen the water will now go back right to your engine you can see that this very one is a gear driven water pump this is for 1000 series Perkins engine when you see it is gear driven and when you block that whip oh after some time it might take like a week or more than a week this is the whip oh this very one is the whip oh the first one was the vapor oh if you block it you'll notice that the water the coolant will now be going right to your engine and that's what we call water dilution that is you observe that your oil level will be rising above the usual place above the your gauge above your normal gauge your oil level will be rising because another liquid is added to it so but if you don't block it then the water will be going down at your own time you can work on it you change the mechanical seal it is certain that the mechanical seal is 40. That is why the water is dripping. So please, if your whipo is leaking, don't block it. Instead of that, if you are driving and you experience it, no problem. You can drive to a safe place or even to, to your house. Then you can attend to it or you can drive to a, a workshop. Then you attend to it. It is just a kind of uh, pre-warning. It's just a warning to you. It is not that bad, bad, bad. So if you observe it, even though it is your generator, if you're observing, you just have to prepare yourself that you need to do something about your water pump. You can repeat your water pump or you can replace it. You can repeat by buying the kit, especially your mechanical seal. If you change your mechanical seal and the bearings, then your water pump is good to go. So if you observe the dripping from this type of hole, please don't block it. If you block it, it will lead to a bigger problem for you. So, for you not to experience this kind of thing, what you need to do is to attend to your water pump as quick as possible. So, from this video, you must have learned that this is a whip o, and the whip o. You can see it. This is the whip o. As you can see this is the whip o. So, when you observe that. Coolant is dropping from there. Don't block it. Attend to it. See what you can do. Take it to a specialist. Or if you can do it yourself, fine. Change mechanical seal. Attend to it. Then your engine will work perfectly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, say something about the video. Go to the comment section. Ask your question. And the next video you like me to do, you can do it to tell me. Thank you for watching me. I really appreciate. We just discussed about water pump. 
we are very specific about which is the whip oh thank you for watching me see you in my next video thank you